What's crack lacking everybody and welcome back to what is another on this delete video and today's video is actually sponsored by none other than Lego. These are the brand new Lego City Oceans and Airport sets and basically with these your favorite Lego City heroes are going to explore the oceans and the skies. Alright so the very first set we got right here is the passenger aeroplane. This bad boy right here is a combination of a cargo aeroplane and a passenger one put together. So one of my favorite parts about this set is there's a little cargo hold for the sports car that raises up, gets slotted right in, and then there's also an airport that's included. It's even got a departure screen. But then there's the exploration ship. So this exploration ship has a working crane so you can lower the diving cage further into the water or out of the water. And it's also obviously got a helipad for the helicopter, but get this. The ship floats, the literal like Lego ship floats in the water. How good is this? But yeah guys, if you want any more information on any of these sets, definitely head to the link down below. But thank you again for Lego for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. What's crack lacking everybody and welcome back to what is a very very exciting unlisted leaf video because today we're doing something that probably a lot of OG subscribers might remember, maybe you guys in the comments might remember as well, but we used to always do these things called custom booster boxes where I would source random booster packs from like all over the place on eBay, random mystery boxes and all that, I put them together to create 36 boosters that means it's a booster box, and we would open up a custom booster box. Well, today, since we've been getting so many like loose packs here and there, either through like Mailman Monday, through like mystery boxes, maybe even the custom boosters that Pokey Collect sent in, we've got a stack of loose different boosters. So I thought today, we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit the big red button, and we're gonna open up another custom booster box. Alrighty guys, make sure you absolutely demolish the like button if you're excited for the return of a custom made booster box. Thank you to every single person that sort of helped put this together I guess. All throughout the past couple of episodes, I feel like it's an accumulation of all these episodes we've watched together and created. And then here it is, the finale. We open all the packs. The best part about all these vintage ones, I gotta say before I open them, is my man. He literally weighed all of these. And they are all weighed heavy. I kid you not. So, I'm going to do a card trick. We're going to do two from the back. Look how vintage these bad boys are. So, we're going to be opening all heavy boosters right here. And then, we got like some ultra rare Japanese bangers. We got, yeah, literally like amazing rares to come about. We got Neo sets and the brand new Darkness of Blaze as well. But let's start the party off with a Dark Jolteon. Then we got a Dratini as well. Magnemite looking good. Then we got a beautiful looking Ponyta, that looks gorgeous. We got a Drowsy. Then we got that old school looking coughing, really sick. Really nice Sparkly Tooth Rattata, everyone loves a Sparkly Tooth. Goop Gas Attack, and then none other than a Dark Alakazam Holocard on our very first booster. Dude, I am so excited. That is how you want to start your custom booster box off. Look at the old school holo. The beam of light coming down like Arceus has chosen him to go above. Ooh, that is epic. Alright, holo dark Alakazam to start off our custom booster box. And then a potion energy uncommon. Let's put that one to the side. Let's open this one up. Let's open up a heavyweight jungle Flareon. These heavyweight like jungle packs, they go for such an insane amount. I've seen him sell for up to 600 Australian dollars, so it's a very expensive opening today. But I thought, you know what, it's celebration time. It's about time we did another one of these custom booster boxes. We're going to go two from the back. We're going to Marowak right here. And then we've got Lickitung. Look at that golden, like, it's almost like gold now. The sunlight's hitting him perfectly. Execute. We're going to Mankey as well. Do you guys love Jungle or Team Rocket? Which one's more of your favorite? Or maybe you're a fossil kind of person. Got a Cubone. Venonat, got a Jigglypuff as well. Old school looking Eevee, this is pretty good. And then, none other than a Hollow Victory Bell from Jungle. All of these cards are minty fresh by the way as well. Look at the backgrounds. Yo, the re- I just thought of this. The recap on today's custom boost box is going to be insane. Alright, so we got a Hollow Victory Bell. That looks nuts, dude. So we'll put Hollow Victory Bell at the back. We're going to have a look at him on the recap, don't worry. And a Parasect. 
Let's keep it the vintage train, I reckon, and open up another Team Rocket. Now, my man did send us, what was it? I think four Team Rocket boosters, and he said, three out of the four are heavy, and one could be light. He's not 100% sure. So if we get a regular rare right here, it's not the end of the world, because the other one we have will be a heavy. But let's have a look. We got a Dark Jolteon to start things off. You can't sneeze at a Dark Jolteon, especially why <laughs> the thing. So we'll go Dark Jolteon right there. Then we got Dark Kadabra, Slowpoke as well, Dark Raticate. I love the hand-drawn artwork. Absolutely fantastic. Menke, got a Voltorb as well. Diglett looking good. Sleep. That's a classic. I had so many of these sleeps when I was a kid. And then, oh, that's not the uh, rare. We got a Squirtle, which is good. Is that hinting towards what could be the... Oh, there we go. All right, so it's a... This one was the light pack. At least we discovered where the light was. Dark Machamp and a Dark Golduck. Okay, so the other Team Rocket in here, it's going to be the heavy. Are you nervous or what? So now we got this random, like... Yeah, I think you get one of these when you go to the Pokemon Center in Japan and you buy the latest set as a booster box and they give you one of these special Pokemon card gym packs. There's one card in here. It's going to be some sort of promo with some sort of branding on it. Let's find out exactly what it is and try not to... Oh, gosh. Try not to trim the actual card. It's so hard to tell where the card... Oh, we didn't get it. It's good. It's so hard to tell where the card is and the booster opens. Not even too shabby. So we get none other than a Del Caddy with the uh, gym logo right there, which looks really good. It's like a path that never ends. It keeps going back there with all those trees. Really nice looking card. Beautiful promo gym stamp right there. I don't know. Do you guys collect these random sorts of promos? Do you like them? Sun and Moon promo number 234. Uh, if you're looking for number 234, because you got 233 and 235, that's what you're missing. All right, look at this next one. We have a Digimon booster. I mean, if you haven't liked the video for a Digimon pack, I don't know what's going to get you to like the video. Let's open this thing up. We randomly got it in that mystery box, and you guys were freaking out in the comments. Like, Ando, you've got to open up some Digimon packs. Now, I'm glad you said that, because... Oh, my goodness! I love Digimon as a kid. I probably watched it just as much as Pokemon. So, we got a holographic to start things off right here. This is probably my second favorite. I mean, Ty was probably number one with Agumon, but yo, I l the, uh, what is it? The fifth evolution, I think, with the medal on him? That was the best one. Yo! Okay, they all, okay, no, they're not all holographic, so I reckon that's our rare. Sorry, I'm gonna, le I'm gonna learn the Digimon TCG with you guys. And then we're gonna, oh, it scenes out the anime, I think. Slowly roll through. Which one? Which? If you had to pick only one Digimon, which one would be your favorite? Oh! Isn't this guy like the super ultra rare one, but you never thought it because it was like the flying, I don't know, orange thingy? Yo, this is such a throwback. Oh, there's. See, that's the uh, orange thingy I was talking about. I can. Pado, I think it's Padomon, isn't it? I'm having such throwbacks right now. Oh, look at all the uh, mini Digimon right there. Yo, this is crazy. So it looks like it screenshots out the anime and you get one holographic card. I think we did good. I think we got a decent holographic to start things off. But let's kick it off right here. We got Legendary Heartbeat as another Japanese set. This could mean we're going to get another amazing rare Pokemon card. What amazing rare am I going for? Literally anything. I don't care. Because I think Jirachi is the most expensive one. But we've already got that. So it could be Zacian. Could be Zamazenta. It could be Raikou. I've already got two of those. Holo Genesec. Not too shabby. It's two from... Oh, three. Holy smokes. All right. So we got a Holo Genesec right there. Looking good. At least we got a Holo card. I'm going to put him at the back. And then we get our three uncommons. Metagross. Looking good. All right. Now it's time for a bit of Japanese Unbroken Bonds. I swear, if somehow I get a Rainbow Rare Tag Team, Reshiram and Charizard card... I am jumping out that window like you have no idea. It would be the greatest day of my whole life. Another, like, another Charizard? Probably can't happen. We've got the Wigglytuff right there. And then, as the final pull, can we do it, guys? It's going to be a regular uncommon. Japanese packs are a bit savage like that. You only get five cards per booster, and there is a chance you don't even get any hollows or anything. You just get a regular uncommon, and that's it. Okay, so we got our fire crystals to start things off right here. Got a Venonat. 
And then, after Chato and Dog Trio, <laughs> it's gonna leave us with the regular uncommon again. So, okay, we've got heaps of these boosters to get through. Let's do another Japanese Unbroken Bond. So, we're gonna go one from the back. Surely, we can at least get an EX or something. Another Dog Trio right there. Happiny, Krabby, Venonat again. Are you kidding me? All of these are light boosters? I don't think you can even weigh a Japanese booster because it's like so... The cards are already thinner than an English set. So if you were trying to weigh the set, it would be so tough because you're weighing five cards. Gengar looking really good right there. Vile Plume. Then we've got a Porygon and then a Porygon Z as our holy card. Didn't end up getting a uh, GX or an EX. Even a V. I mean, oh, we haven't even got a... Oh gosh, that went everywhere. We haven't got a V card. I think that's all about to change though, because look what we're opening up now. Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze. We've had some very good luck with this set, and I reckon we're going to try and continue it right now, and try our absolute best to get another Charizard VMAX. Maybe even a gold, like, Colossal, because that's the only card I haven't got. But if we get gold Rillaboom, I'm not going to be mad at all. Rockety, Washy Washy, Pansage, got a Tauros, Laron Reverse, and a Bear Tick as the regular rare. It's Charizard time. I've never... You know, I do get, like, bad stuff out of Charizard now and again, but I've never really got, like, shocking stuff. So hopefully Charizard can lure in the pools right now. Got a Fire-type energy right there. Got our Rose. Vanillish. Poltergeist looking good. Feebas. And then after Fletchling, it's gonna lead us to none other... What do you guys reckon? Charizard time? A Selagor regular rare. That's alright, don't worry about it. Let's put a Selagor right to the back, and then we're going to move on to this pack right here. This, believe it or not, is an $80 booster. And the reason for that is in 2016, they gave these out to the uh, people that volunteered to help out organizing the tournaments over in Japan. You got an event organizer booster pack right here, and I guess some people sold them, they didn't open them. And they went for a fair bit because you get that stamp right there, the event organizer stamp. So let's open up, let's pretend we volunteered at a Pokemon event, and crack open a... Uh, Event Volunteer Booster and see what we get, because I don't know. Oh, wow. I mean, like, the card itself, whatever, I don't really care too much, but the stamp is sick. Imagine this official-looking stamp on, like, a Charizard. Like, that would be crazy. Eh, I mean, the training card, whatever. I'm still going to put this at the back, because I think people would still collect this, right? They'd want to complete the event organizer set one day. So it'd definitely be worth putting in the binder. Probably nothing insane right now, but... You gotta take what you gotta take. So let's get back, let's get back to Rainbow Ray Charizard over here, because you know what? I'm quite sick of it. You didn't give us anything. I'm hunting for my old. I just want one like banger ultra rare pull this episode. Something to blow us away. I mean, I suppose getting a hollow on the vintage is good enough, but Growlithe, you look quite proud of yourself. Got a Meowth hugging a substitute, and wow, what? Hitting us with. Oh no! Hits us with the uncommon, and look what we got here! I had to do it to you. I had to do it to you. I'm sorry, little Tim Tam. We had to put a Steam Siege in here, you know, because we're flying too high. It was too fun doing a custom booster box. But let's ground ourselves and see what absolute garbage. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, is everyone surprised? Every We got a solid green. Gonna be absolutely poo-poo inside of this thing. No surprise at all. Greedy dice. That's what Pokemon thought when they made the set. d what? Gardevoir, Spirit Link, Nidoran, Oshawa. I hate to say it. Spaghetti Monster hanging off a tree, Gastodon, and then a regular rare Primate. What are we doing? What what did we do that for? I don't know. I just thought we had to bring everyone's happy levels back down to a average height. Oh, that's not bad. We got Shining, your Shining Legends. Yeah, Shining Legends there. But we'll do a base set of Sword and Shield just in case. There's a Gold Zacian or Zamazenta in here. Open you up, pull you to the side, there's the code card. Gonna go four from the back, and I haven't actually opened... Base set, I mean, obviously we opened the blister the other day, but besides that, I haven't opened it in a hot minute. So it's actually a really nice, kind of nostalgic set right now. Q font, Baltzoi, gonna shoulder reverse, and there we go! Our first V card is Stone Journey V. I mean, I'm gonna take it, you gotta take the V cards where you can take it. I love this box. Such a diverse cross-section of all sorts of Pokemon cards. Stone Journey V, looking good. All right, bud. Put you at the back right there. And then we got some Shining Legends. Now, you guys actually request to open this set more than I thought you would. 
Um, I never thought too much of it. I thought it was cool when it came out. Like, this is actually pretty fun to open up. I think it's three from the back. But I never bought more of it, you know? Once the hype sort of died down, it has, like, kind of resale value right now. But I never really got back into it. But maybe I should. If you guys absolutely love this set, I mean, look at the artwork. Majority of it is really hand-drawn. So, oh, there we go. Got the holo card. A Veltal is the holo. And then a fairy type energy to end things off right there. So let's keep going. Got a couple of uh, Shining Legends to get through. Maybe we'll get that Mewtwo card. Which, by the way, skyrocketed in price. I don't know. And, like, really recently and randomly too. It's not like it was slowly rising. It was worth nothing for ages. And all of a sudden, pew, price has just shot up for that card. So hopefully we can get that, but... As I said, you just gotta take anything you can get. Scraggy, Brazil, and then... Oh, Latios is our holo card right there, looking really good. Nice combo card. Kinda looks like a scene out the Pokemon Forever movie. Okay, get you out. This is our last Shining Legends. I think we got a couple more packs, actually. Somewhere deep inside of this booster box, put you to the side. And I'm loving the fact we always see the white and green code card. So let's go with the Spirit Tomb to start things off. Then a Venusaur, just casually, no worries, okay. Ultra Ball. Then a Zoroa, Ekans, Pikachu, what do you reckon? Plusle. Palkia as the Holo. Okay, I'm kind of convinced after doing a bit, Shining Legends is actually sick. Maybe we have to open some more of that. Okay, put Palkia at the back and then we're back to Legendary Heartbeat. Surely we can get something out of a Japanese booster. I feel like Japanese has done us dirty for a bit. Open you up. Always been pretty lucky with Japanese sets. So, one from the back. We've got a great ball to start things off right there. Shockle. Don't... Oh, that's not too bad at all. I'm going to take an Ampharos v card. Yo, that looks sick as well. I love the artwork. Oh, I keep forgetting. You can do more than one from the back. Lucario, but... Oh... I love the artwork on this card. Say what you want, Ampharos is a beast. Marie back there would be quite happy about our pull. Dude, not even too shabby. 120 on the attack, 210 HP. Alright, Ampharos V, you go at the back. And since we're on the uh, lucky streak, let's open up another one. I wonder if he just grabbed him out the booster box when he's giving him to me. Or if these are from a whole different set. Okay, let's go three from the back since we know the card trick. Opal, you weird grandma. Hopefully he can give us something. Quagsire. Then we got Weedle. D Denny. And there we go. Tornadus holo card. All right, now we're cooking with gas, boys. Someone hit the ignition button. Now this, I reckon, is our last legendary heartbeat booster. So it's all down to here. If we can get a... What is it? Amazing rare? Yeah. If we can get an amazing rare, that would be fantastic. But if we can get another V card, it'd be equally as good. Clefable, Opal again. Look at Joltik. He's literally about to electrocute himself. What is he doing? Nobody knows. Oh, Magina is our holo card. All right, that's not too shabby. I I say that's a pretty good run. No amazing rare, but out of five packs, I'm stoked with that. Okay, let's go back to the base set. We'll do a sword and shield, and then we'll dabble with the heavy team rocket because we know that's heavy now. Open this one up, please. Let's try and get a gold card. Oh, what the heck? Do you see that? That's really, like, tinted. Uh, maybe it's just me. That looks a bit more tinted than normal. Let's go and... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. I was going to say, this overall booster seemed a bit more dark. Maybe the printer was, like, fresh loaded with ink. Got a Linoon, Zigzagoon. Then we got Silicobra, Yampa, Krabby as well, Bowtoy Reverse, and a regular Ray Raichu. I mean, I'm not expecting too great a stuff out that Sword and Shield because it came out of a blister pack. And the problem is, when it comes out of a blister, you've got to be super lucky. You're going to get one booster that has, like, the absolute goat pulls. Whoa, this Shining Legends had a backwards code. Love it. But yeah, you're going to have one goat booster and the rest are going to be a little bit poo-poo. All right, Carnivine right there. Electrode. Got a Float Cell. Purloin. Plusle as well. Got a Stun the Fisk. Minum. Brazil, Sorco Reverse, and Hooper as the holo card. Yeah, okay. We gotta open more Shining Legends. A thousand percent. Let me know in the comments. Does Ando have to open up some more? Back to the Sword and Shield. Hopefully, the Goat Booster. It's a. Oh gosh, rip the door off that one. 
Hopefully the goat booster's around here somewhere. It is a white and green. That is a good sign. Gonna go four from the back. We're gonna metal type energy to kick things off right here. Quillfish, Pokey Kid, Energy Search, Roselia, Krabby, and then Glossopher. Oh, not even that bad. Lapras V card. Don't worry. It's all good in the hood. Body Surf and Ocean Loot. Wow. Okay, another V card. We're really just getting a median like cross section. It's not really bad pulls, but it's not actually crazy stuff. Lapras V. That's all about to turn around because we have a heavy, all the artwork Team Rocket booster. Let's do it. Let's just dive straight into this bad boy and crack you open. And hopefully, a really good dark type poker. Oh gosh, it's so weird going from the brand new sets, going back to vintage. Oh, it's Dark Charmeleon. Surely not. Surely we can't manage to get something ridiculous. Machoke. Got a Squirtle. Got a Sleep as well. I told you, we're just going to double up like anything on those ones. Dratini. Got a Drowsy as well. Ponida. Got a Rattata. Oh, yes! Get it, son! Come on! That's what I'm talking about! None other than a Minty Fresh. Where's my sleeves? I'm missing sleeves. Holy smokes! Dark Blast Toys. Oh! My goodness. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we just did this. This looks really good shape. I mean, oh, there's no print lines out. Oh, this is amazing. I'm going to find a sleeve. The back looks really good as well. Hydro cannon, rocket table. We got Dark Blastoise, ladies and gentlemen. The booster box has been made. Where's my sleeves gone? All right, lads. Everyone stay cool, calm, collected. I am shaking like an absolute milkshake maker right now, but that's okay because we have just gotten pulled. My personal favorite card in the set. Don't care what you think. This is it. Dark Blast Toys. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Okay, you know what? I'm in a vintage mood. I'm going to put Dark Blast Toys at the back, but I see... Um, two vintage packs. I'm dying to open. I can't wait anymore. Let's open up the Neo pack. Now, if you remember, this Neo series in Japanese, the holo cards at the front. So we're going to be careful not to spoil it for ourselves. And there is one card I still need. Typhlosion's sick, right? Freligate is cool. But I'm dying for either Pichu or Lugia. So if we can get that on this booster right now, I'm going to be a happy boy. Holo card is placed at the back. Oh, mama! Look at these. Oh, Generation 2. Beautiful looking artworks. This Pikachu. Stunning. I know people that grade oh, that Pikachu. Like, ha they've got a lot of them. Slowpoke. Oh my. They're all like hand-drawn goodness. Huh? You don't see like artworks like that. Who looking good? Random berry. Is everyone ready? Please. Lugia or Pichu? That's all I want. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Are you actually playing with my Uncle Jim Jam SpaghettiOs? Look at this! We pulled another Typhlosion! No way! This booster box just went 0 to 100! Let me know in the comment section right now by commenting Uncle Jim Jam. I don't know. Let me know you've made it this far in the opening. This isn't weird. Okay, okay. I'm not freaking out because this is like ultra rare. It is ultra rare. It's a fantastic pull. And that's like, in English, one of the rarest cards you can get. But... I've opened five boosters. This is our sixth booster, I think. And I've pulled three Typhlosions now. Are you kidding me? What is up with... I should open the rest of these packs because it'd probably be all for all again Typhlosions. What's up with that? This is so weird. Oh my goodness. Okay. Put you at the back. We've got the rarest, like, two in a row. Rarest cards. Let's do it. I'm, as I said, I'm feeling vintage today. The newer stuff, kind of doing us dirty. This stuff right here, it's a fossil set. Granted, there's not insane things we can get out of fossil. I'm going to go two from the back. But there's still some really beautiful cards. And a holo card because it's weight heavy. That's going to be good with me. Slow bro. Then the original slow poke. I love it. Tentacle as well. Then a shelter. Grimer. Gambler. Then an Omnimite. Got a Geodude looking good. And there we go, got a Kabutops as the uh, holo card right there. I'm not even too shabby. I mean, dude, 
If you look at the track record we've got right now, Kabutops is all good in the hood. And Seedra is the final uncommon. But let's get you into a sleeve as well, bud. Oh, yo, I'm so excited. This is the coolest opening we've done in ages. Like, holy smokes. This camera will not focus on my face. It's getting too excited. Got to calm down, camera. Okay. Let's wind it back a bit. Let's get back to some darkness of blaze right now. I think if I did end up pulling a Charizard V Max, probably have to end the opening, wouldn't I? It, you just like you wouldn't be able to ever get better. The channel just would have peaked. Semi poor. Oh, then we got Pan Sage, a Skitty as well, Golet, Vanillite, Trap Inch, and then oh, did you see the red? And you thought, oh my goodness, he's done it. It's Houndoom V Card. It's a V card, you can't come yeah, literally, no complaining at all. Wow. And you know what's really exciting? We just pulled the Houndoom V. Look what we got next. Shining Legends. I thought, I swear we opened them all. Apparently not. And look at that, baby. White and green. Let's go for something crazy. Let's try to win the internet today. Got a Carnivine. And a Switch. Bulbasaur as well. Pikachu. That's a staple. Totodile as well, Cat. this is a beautiful set. And then a Hollow Raikou, and then an Unlisted Leaf Energy as well. That's not too shabby, I love Raikou. I have two amazing rare Raikous that I'm struggling to know what to do with. I've just got, Raikou seems to be attracted to me. And then to finish off the left hand side, it's a Darkness Ablaze Charizard Booster. What's everyone reckon? Charizard gonna come through with the goods right now? There's the code card. Hopefully you guys are getting something really, really spicy. But we got a Dutton's type, D Denny, Bird Keeper, Soul Rock, Jigglypuff, Duns Boss, got a clink. And then. Oh no, it's a Volcarona regular rare. Uh, I, I see red and I get too excited, I think. Now we got another chance for an amazing rare by the looks of it. So let's trim the top of this one off. And fingers crossed. We just went a decent cross section. I think even a hollow at this point would be okay. Three from the back. Rocky Helmet. Not too shabby. Stun Fisk. Then, we just gotta have a. Come on, you crossed your toes? I hope you have. It's not this one, Beldum. Oh, there we go. At least we got a holo. It's Zygarde. Really, really epic looking artwork, though, isn't it? Gee whiz. It's going all out. Looks like a uh, transforming Power Ranger. Is it all dark? Oh, no, I didn't mean for this. It's gonna end on an all darkness ablaze. Whatever. It's fitting at this point. <sighs> All right, let's open up the final four right now. It's a white and green though. This is good news Four from the back. We've already opened 36 packs. That blows my mind Honestly, the best pull though that dark blast toys is gorgeous Golet, vanilla, the bass. Oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This booster box has gone up up and beyond Wow, this is why we do custom booster boxes for the insane pulls you sit down here, but then it goes straight to here. Oh, Kaboo Full Art. Oh, oh my god, I'm so happy this made my day. Wow, Kaboo Full Art card. As I said, the recap is going to be crazy. I'm going to lose my voice. Let's finish this before Ando loses his voice. Kaboo Full Art. Bananas. Really cool, like, background texture on that. You know what? It's Charizard time. And it's a white and green. No way. As I said, Charizard would be dead. Gold card, that's the end. No way we pull it though after a full lot. Like, that's nuts. Vanilla, Gothida, and then uh, Hoopa again. You know what's funny is we're seeing how many times they reuse legendary Pokemon. Like, Raikou gets churned over a lot. Hoopa seems to be in a lot of sets as like the holo card. Oh, there we go. It was a solid green, but that's okay. We've got one booster to end this custom box off. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you love these custom booster openings. I know they feel all over the shop and you don't really know what's happening half the time. But I think it just takes you by surprise. Because you never expect the end card. It just sort of pops up. You're like, oh, that's what we're opening. And this is it. It's all down to a darkness of blaze. As the last booster of our little custom homemade booster box right here. I've still got it. A fan sent it in to me when I think I only had my channel for a year. And I love reusing it all the time. Oh my gosh, I love Darkness Ablaze. Why'd I stop opening it? That's a white and green. Let's do it. Let's end it with a shebang. Unlisted Leap to start things off. Then we're gonna Rose as well. 
Looking good. Go to Paris, Gothida, Skarmory, Cub Chew. No, it's the wrong time to stop recording. We're gonna win pod. Galarian Surf Edged, and then, wow, Sizzle v -Cod. Even the camera had a heart attack. It thought it was something crazy coming up. You're still gonna take a Sizzle V, but you know what's funny is this is my most pulled V out of any V card I think we've ever got. I literally have about seven of these right now. Anyway, let's have a recap of everything we got today. That was insane. Alrighty guys, are you ready for a recap that's honestly gonna be as weird as that booster box as all over the place as that opening was? Check this out. Let's start it off with a good old Digimon booster. I love it, absolutely fantastic. I've got to stack more of these Digimon packs. So if you want another episode of me opening them up, I'll probably go and learn all the names or relearn. I used to be so fluent with them, but I'll relearn all the names and we'll do a Digimon opening. If this video gets 6,000 likes, Digimon pack opening, I might even buy a booster box, I don't know, but it'll definitely be on the channel. So we'll put that one to the side, beautiful holographic to start things off. Then we've got a nice Delcaddy Jim branded card right there. And then we've also got another Japanese branded event organizer card. Again, nothing crazy about the card, but it's the fact it has the stamp and the real gamble. No one really knows what's in those boosters. It was pretty cool. But why does that pack cost 80 bucks? I don't know. Anyway, got a stack of hollows as well. Nothing wrong with the hollows, by the way. I think this shows how amazing our cross section of pulls was today. We did really, really well. There was a couple of ton packs in there, but I think overall, if you look at it as a booster box perspective, well, we beat any ratio that we normally get. Zygarde as well, then we got a Hooper, then we start with the V cards. You ready? Let's turn to 100. Stone Journer V to kick it off. Then the Sizzle, then the Ampharos, which is probably my favorite, Lapras as well, and a Houndoom. Then we managed to get that full up. Last minute came through, Kabu literally slid under the door as it was closing. My personal favorite though. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments of these vintage pulls. Wow, I am in love. You ready? Kabutops, Fossil, absolute banger. Dark Alakazam from Team Rocket, Dark Pokemon, amazing. Victory Bell from Jungle, any jungle card just goes off. We pulled another Typhlosion. Like what more do you want from an episode? I feel like that just peaks everything. That's so sick. But it's the, this one right here. This, I still can't believe and I still shake when I see it. I love, Blastoise is my favorite final evolution, like literally beats Charizard in my book. And I know that's controversial and you guys are gonna hate me, but like, I think Charizard's number two because Blastoise is number one. But, oh my gosh. It's the original artwork, like that dark Blastoise. Look at that original war turtle up there. I could fanboy over this card forever. Wow. Don't much like button if you love these custom booster boxes. I hope you do and I hope you manage to concentrate in some of the packs. I just get too excited and I know it's all over the shop, but wow, that was so much fun. We should do another one soon. I love it. Links to full episodes where I got these packs will be down below if you want to go and watch some more videos to help out the channel. Most of all, click subscribe. We're almost on 2 million, but most of all, keep on gaming. I'll see you next episode, guys. See you then.